All right, this is bringing you the uh, visit of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party to Aochi, in fact to a donut. Um, we just finished from the palace of the Otaru of Aochi, the Otaru of Aochi Sac Sacred Kingdom. And um, like I told you before now, that um, most uh, probably he may not be able to uh, make it to the public feed because of his schedule. But what we can see right now, there are indications that he is coming to briefly address the mammoth crowd here at the Ikelebe Sports Arena here in Aochi. And so we are expecting uh, the, his arrival. Uh, it's a 50-50 anyway, but we are here keeping you updated with the happenings. Uh, he actually appealed earlier at the Otaru's uh, Palace that he will be back, you know, uh, subsequently to visit once more the people of Aochi. But let me bring you um, the idea of what it is right here uh, in, in the public field. Alright, so this is the... Uh, this is what is happening here at this time. Again, as soon as we are sure, 
that uh, Peter Abi will be able to make it to this place. The schedule today is quite tight, I must say, and um, a lot of people are here expecting to see him. But all the same, we are here, and if he's going to be here to address this crowd here, definitely will be back live. But we also want to inform you that the APC uh, do not flag off his uh in minutes if they that's if they've not started we're heading there and we'll bring you be bringing you updates shortly stay with us don't go far thank you so much for the love thank you for following thank you for your comments thank you for every one of you that shares shares our broadcast we we'll love you thank you very much from the focus tv team we want to say we we'll love you thank you for following an authority that he is on his way coming here we have it on authority that the person of Peter Obi is making his way right here at this time and of course we can tell you that he's going to touch ground here briefly so stay with us as we bring you a non-stop report of the visit of Peter Obi, the presidential uh, candidate of the Labour Party. of the Labour Party and I can tell you at this moment everyone is expecting his arrival like I said earlier it's a 50-50 we're here bringing you non-stop update of the visit of this great man of our time
happening right now uh, Peter B has been in RLG so far so good he touched uh, ground about um, two hours ago he immediately made his way to the palace of his royal highness the Otaru of RLG Sacred Kingdom as we speak we he spent a visit to a very notable person within RLG and um, He's expected here, and so we are hopeful that he will be able to make it here to address this um, uh, die-hard fans and supporters, party faithfuls of the Labour Party, who have in no doubt demonstrated their love and belief in the person of Peter Obi. Oh, my God. 
Our principal is already here. Let us do this thing obediently. Let us do this work obediently. Let us make this needful sacrifice obediently. We are all here for this purpose, and for this purpose is why we are gathered here. Please come to this side, I beg you. Please come to this side. Let the security officers do their work so that our principal can come in. Are you not here to see our guy? We are all here to see our principal. We are all here to hear from him. I beg, I beg. We shouldn't be difficult again. They need to scream here. They need to scream the security check here. Yes. Please come this way. The security officers are here to do their job. What <laughs> See the crowd here. He's going to be speaking from uh, his uh, his car right now. Everyone wants to see him in person.
You are watching Focus TV Nigeria, People's Voice.
This is the much we can bring you. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I want to say that it's a fact that uh, many Nigerians are suffering. There is no way to sugarcoat it. And most of these men and women here are asking for a new Nigeria. I want to particularly note that in the convoy of the uh, presidential candidate of the Labour Party were just um, three cars, as he always says, that he likes to cut costs. And he has most importantly said that he should be held accountable. Using his words, he says, hold me responsible if I don't deliver. Nigerians should note down with very keen interest all the promises that are being made by various presidential candidates because at the end of the day, we need to hold them accountable, we need to remind them, we need to follow them. Peter Obi has said that his desire is to give back Nigeria to women and children, to give back the country back to, to give the country back to the owners. Who are the owners of Nigeria? They are the generality of the people of Nigeria. Not just the leaders, but the teeming masses, the citizens of this great country. And as such, everyone must be on deck. It is not about the Labour Party. It is not about the APC. It is not about the PDP. It is not about the NNPP or other political parties. If you ask me, I will say, it is about Nigeria. It is about Nigeria working for all of us because Nigeria belongs to all of us. We shall be bringing you the APC rally any moment from now, so stay with us. Thank you for watching. Let's bye for now. My name remains Chris OZ, the voice of inspiration. And you have been following Focus TV Nigeria, the people's voice. Please follow, like, share to get updates from a dust state a donut and all over nigeria we bring you global content as well follow like the part of the focus tv family our reports are authentic they are verifiable and we get better by the day thank you so much bye for now